Hey, Pops, I just saw your first match. You gotta say, you look cool out there. Oh, for real, son? Shoot, I... Wow. Um, I wasn't expecting that from you. Why Why is that? I... In all honesty, son, I thought you were still upset with me. I, I mean... Kinda, I guess? I, I, I don't know. I kind of forgiven you for all that stuff. I mean, as dads go, you're like a... 7 out of 10? I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it, son. I'll take it. But yeah, one day, I'll probably get out there and I'll be all cool just like you. Like, yeah, one day, probably. Be better than Kilana. I like, mean, better than Kilana. Like, oh, yeah, she likes to go out in the forest and fight a lot on her own. Um, for her age, I guess she's pretty strong. Like, she's stronger than most kids in her class, from what I understand. Like, she better be. <laughs> That's my baby girl right there. <laughs> but in me ways oh man what's up guys how y'all doing today and uh man it's it's been one it's been one more crazy week for me i i promise you i i'm not allowed to have a I, i'm not allowed to have peace right now oh my god teeth coat there is heath coat the one child that just is the bane of my existence he threat he threatens me all the time by saying that he's going to take Kilana's hand in marriage one day. <laughs> I will be danged if I let that happen. Speaking of Kilana, there's my baby girl. What's up, baby girl? How are you doing? Get home before it gets too late. Explore the forest trail together. You know what? Sure. I was going to go in the mines and look for those uh, what's it called again. But I'll let her do it. Not not her do it. I'll, I'll, I'll let her take me out to uh, get some father and daughter. I was about to say father and son. Father and daughter, uh, what's it called time? Um, I just realized that the uh, audio is very low. Let me boost that up for a second. I'm um, I'm recording this differently, guys. I'm recording this differently. I'm using OBS to record this instead of using my actual... I am using Elgato, but I'm recording it through OBS. Because I want to see... <gasps> I left. I left by accident. There she is, okay. I didn't mean to do that. This is what happens when you play, um, when you use different controllers. Um, I say different controllers, but I'm using a, um... When I play my PlayStation, I use a PlayStation 5 controller. When I, uh... When I play my, when I play PCs on, when I play games on my PC, I use an Xbox controller. And when I use, um... Nintendo Switch, I use my Pro Controller, so yeah, the buttons are always different. Buttons are never the same. I forgot what I was talking about. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My week, guys. My week. So, I have been... Uh, you guys know that I had the... Um, I got the bed bugs. We're on week number two right now. I get a phone call from my... Um, I get a phone call from my uh, the landlord. And she was talking about how she just got my message. Because apparently her team didn't tell her... Or not her team, but the management people didn't call her to let her know that I had received bed bugs. So she told me everything that was going to happen. She said she can't do anything now because it was a weekend. Mind you, it's it's Saturday morning. So this episode will come out tomorrow being today. Um, and I called her on Friday. She calls me back. Yeah, she calls me back because I said I didn't hear from her in a week. So I did call her. And she told me that uh, since it's Friday, can't do much for you now. Got to wait till Monday. And then she says she's going to hire an exterminator. And it's just like, well, you know, I got to be honest. I don't know. I don't remember if I gave her every detail about what I did because I did fumigate my apartment on my own. I bought like those bed bug bombs and all that stuff. I put them in the places that I saw with that. I saw that they were uh, mainly in my living room because they were in my couch. Oops. I meant for her to fight. Yeah, they were in my couch. Uh, so I spent about like I I spent about two hundred. Yeah, I spent about two hundred. Um, two hundred dollars. I spent about two hundred dollars. Let's see if Kilana can take on, can take these guys on by her. On, can take this boss on her own. She probably can. She is strong. Okay. She hits hard. Look at my baby girl. She's a monster slayer. Let's go. My baby girl is a monster slayer. I'm thinking about bringing Kilana over to another game. Maybe her and her brother. Um, uh, I was planning on playing... Um, I'll get back to the story in a second. I was planning on playing... What's it called? 
what's that game called, guys? Um, Entry and Odyssey for the channel. And I was thinking about bringing her as one of the characters for Entry and Odyssey. And then if you guys are interested, we can work on um, making other characters to play around as well. And no, I will not be doing And If I do do that, I will not be doing characters uh, based on you guys because that, that's what starts fights. <laughs> These will be all original characters. I might even just do it on my own, to be honest. But, um, who knows? Who knows? Last runner, so I need to go to the actual mount. Or mine. Um. But, yeah. She, but basically, but like I said, I bought, like, all the cleaning supplies. And I've been on it, like, every day. Like, vacuuming, spraying, wiping stuff down, checking in corners to make sure I don't find these little guys. And, uh, but she tells me, she's like, all right, I'm hiring an exterminator. And it's going to run me. Me being me, Broom all three hundred dollars. I'm like, hey, excuse me, but I've already been doing this. But I'm just like, whatever. So she's like, you just add that to your next paycheck, and I'm like, Ugh, uh. And I was just like, all right. But in my head, I'm like, if all right, if you're doing this, then these guys better be gone. Like I cannot keep doing this, because for those who don't know, I'm basically living out of I'm living out of bags right now. All my all my stuff are in plastic bags. Like trash bags. And it's annoying because I can't remember where my drawers and my socks and my shirts are in. <laughs> I gotta keep opening and closing bags. And then not to mention, I've did so much laundry. I do laundry once a week normally, right? I do it once a week normally. Your boy is doing laundry like three times a day now. And the bed bug stuff is not expensive. Like one can of spray is like fifteen dollars it's horrible and you can go through a bottle of you can go through a bottle of spray and legit in a day and my apartment's not that big so yeah there's that i've been dealing with that for the most part i believe i got them all on my own well not all of them i still see stragglers here or there like i saw one this morning before i went to work um like what it was like 2 a.m it was like right above my door sill just chilling so i sprayed it and it died <laughs> I was like, it's like ah, I did the Harlem Shake real quick for the one time and then died. Uh, but yeah, there's that. And oh, I just remember, I just realized we didn't do any um God related stuff today. Let me see, let me see. Um, because I'm in the Book of Acts right now. Uh, okay, yeah, I could tell you guys yesterday's reading. Yesterday's reading was in, I believe, Acts chapter 12. It talked about um, it talked about how this uh, I think his name was King Herod. I think that's how you pronounce his name, Herod or Herod. And then, you know, he was going up gathering God's followers and he was um, imprisoning them and like executing them. So you eventually get to Peter. Uh, everybody knows Peter. Peter is the one that denied uh, Jesus three times. Uh, they'd be like, oh, you know, Jesus, right? He's like, nah, I don't know him. He's like, you for real? You don't know Jesus? Like, nah, I don't know him. You sure you don't know Jesus? He's like, nah, I keep telling you, I don't know him. Um, that That's that's Peter. But he knew him. He, he knew Jesus really well. Uh, so they found Peter. And they imprisoned him and then he was on the verge of yeah he was on the verge of being executed i believe i don't know how long it was he was going to be an executed, but he was in this so and you know all the other followers they knew about this and they prayed uh you know they prayed to him or not to him but they prayed to god and uh one night while the uh while peter was asleep he was chained up um you had some guards there that were guarding him um an angel came and told Peter to uh, told Peter to get up, and uh, he when he got up, the chains they were um, you know the chains came off of him. He, uh, the angel told Peter to uh, get his clothes on, and the angel led him out of the prison and back to his uh, you know and back to his friends. Um, I believe that there was a little bit more to it. I remember. They said something about King Harad dying. I'd have to look back at it. It was yesterday's reading, guys. I'm sorry. It was yesterday's reading. So um, forgive me if I don't re uh, if I don't remember it word for word. Um, but yeah, it's just one of those things. It's just one of those things where it's just like you know, it's the power of prayer, guys. Like for real, the power of prayer, and the prayer is even like you know, the prayer is even more powerful when it comes from righteous people. Righteous people being those who follow God, those who submit themselves to God, obey His will, and all of that. That's something that I actually encourage you guys uh, to do. Surrender yourselves to God, all that. Because um, I could be, I could be a testimony of that. I think 
a few weeks ago. I don't know if it was on this video or if it was on another video or whatever. I have no idea where I'm going. Um, yeah, I can't remember if it's this video or another video, but I was talking about how um, I, for whatever reason, every day that I tried to read my Bible, I would always get distracted. I couldn't retain anything that was going on, um, but it didn't stop me from reading. I just, it was getting to that point where I was just like, I don't, I, I don't understand what's going on. Like, I can't, I don't understand what, what the Bible is telling me. I talked to, um, I talked to some of my family. I talked to some of my friends who I know are really strong in the faith. Uh, they pray for me. Legit, the very next time I cracked open my Bible, I was able to absorb all of that stuff. No distractions, nothing. And like, when I mean by distractions, I mean like, in, I mean like, you know, those intrusive thoughts that you get where it would be like, oh yeah, instead of reading this Bible, why don't you go ahead and uh, play a, play a, a quick game of, um, of Trails in the Sky? And I'm just like, nah, I got to get this reading in, fam. I got to get this reading in. So it's just like, I'm, like I'm, being, I'm being genuine with you guys. The power of prayer for those who actually believe is very strong. It, 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 it is very strong. And I would encourage everyone that watches this channel to give it a shot. I'm being serious. Give it a shot. Give it a shot. All right, let's go to bed. Keelan is still up for whatever reason. I mean, because you saw what it did with Peter. Peter was about to die. Or he was going to uh, be executed. He was going to be executed. Other followers prayed for him. God stepped in. Girl, if you don't get your butt up. All right. Uh, Yeah, God stepped in. And uh, he saved Peter. Saved Peter. And that's what God does for us. Man. When we accept him, he saves us from that eternal... Excuse my language, but from that eternal damnation. Ida. Who's on the 14th? Is today the 14th? Yeah, today's the 14th. What's today? There's nothing going on. Arrangements. That was Colton's birthday. Ilana's birthday is in two days, guys. Ilana's birthday is in two days, and she will be a young adult. That's crazy, right? Morning, Dad. What's popping, baby girl? Something good happened? No. Not really. All right, but yeah, that's just how that goes. That's, that's you know, that was my week. That was my um, that's my little, I guess, testimony if you want to put it that way. But yeah, what game? What games are you guys playing? What games are you guys playing? I um, there are two more games that come that are coming out this year that I want to grab. I wish to grab um, I wish to grab uh, what's that game called? Everybody knows Uden Chronicles. Um. No, yeah, Union Chronicles uh, 100 Heroes. That comes out in April, I think. And then Stellar Blade. I'm getting Stellar Blade because Stellar Blade... Ste Stellar Blade. Stellar Blade is a non-woke game. For those who guys... I mean, you guys know me. I'm anti-woke everything. Uh, because that word has been... <laughs> that word... I'll say this. I'm anti-modern day. Well, no, I'm anti-woke. I'm anti-woke. I'm anti-woke in general. I am anti-woke, and that game is non-anti. I'm sorry, and that game is anti-woke, but it looks fun too. It, lo it looks really fun. It looks really fun. Yeah. Is there anything else? I gotta get my taxes done today. That's gonna run me a penny, uh, a pretty penny. I remember the first time I ever got taxes. <laughs> But for yeah, the first time I had to do my own taxes, boy, that was I I I remember putting it off like very late in the game, like before we had to get it, before taxes were due, and then I did it. Yeah, when I did them, yeah, I was just like, yeah, I'm never doing that again, because you know, last minute taxes is a is a pain, because you're just struggling to meet that deadline. I told myself I'd never do it again. So whenever I get my W twos. Yeah, whenever I get my W twos, uh, that's when I'll go ahead and set my schedule, or it's not my schedule, my schedule, but schedule, uh, schedule my appointment. I can't do taxes on my own. I can't do taxes on my own. I have to ask somebody doing for me. I'm not that smart. It's like, it's like, what do you mean you're not that smart? You're right. I'm not smart at all. I can barely read over a grade th over a, <laughs> a third grade level, yo. Oh my gosh. Nah, that's a lie. I've been um, I've been reading a lot uh, more lately. I've still been reading um. Value, I'm on volume eight of um, Trapped in a Dating Sim. 
that 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 book is or, um that series is really interesting guys i'm really enjoying it volume eight is pretty good that one's more of a slice of life type thing um yes yeah, this particular book is more of a slice of life there was a little action but it didn't last too long like the last book oh my gosh the action lasted forever let to go somewhere oh she just put this together oh thanks baby girl i appreciate it hope you like it thank you thank you Colleen is a good wife she is a good wife in game she be treating she be treating mark is good marcus be like <laughs> i right, don't get it wrong marcus you know he be he be he be out here he be out here he be doing his thing he be providing for the family and all that soccer crystal do i have though what's that i don't remember getting a soccer crystal i was gonna say game are you loading the game is having a hard time loading i wonder if my switch is what was it? what's that huh i need to sell this Does any of this stuff sell for good prices? No. This is used for fertilizer? For what? Oh right. Those uh those flowers. What is this? I don't remember. Oh no, I'm not even gonna act like I know where that came from. Because I don't. Oh yeah, that crap. King Matara. Matra? Was this a chocolate a, a chocolate kiss? Smells awfully strong. Can I throw this at somebody? Oh right, I forgot. I was told let's find um baby girl, where you at? I gotta do quests for her. As a as apparently that's how I can um Apparently that's how I can do uh I change her weapon from what was told to me. Watch me still got that information wrong too. If I dank it, Brumal, I told you this and this. Why do you suck at listening? Like, that's the question of the ages. Ask my third grade teacher. <laughs> oh, my third grade teacher. Oh, man, I love that woman. She, yeah, she is. She a grand, like, yeah, she'd have to be my grandma's age now. No, she's probably a little younger than my, my grandma was like 90, was like, what, 94, 95 before when she passed away last year? My third grade teacher is probably like the same age as my mom, to be honest, like in her 60s. Dang, she made it all the way out here. All right. Uh, small talk. Can I do a quest for her? Great die. Ignis. All right. Ignis red and Ignis blue. Or ember blue. All right. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go to the uh, first let's go to old town and go to the library um but yeah she so my third grade teacher her husband um her and her husband they owned a farm he would do all the farm stuff but you know she came to the school to teach and all that so he took care of the farm pretty much and um she brought everybody and she brought everybody in my class tulip trees from i guess the tulip trees that they had to my knowledge out of everyone in my class to my knowledge i believe i'm the only one that planted uh planted their tree i planted my tree in the back in my backyard of my parents house and for the longest time it did not grow uh when i was in third grade ooh, i don't know the math okay when i was in fifth grade that's when when i was in fifth grade that was when 9 11 happened because i remember all our i remember all our teachers like like there was like a it wasn't chaos but we didn't know what was going on as kids yeah as kids we didn't know what was going on um yeah as kids we didn't know what was going on um so that was fifth grade that was 2000 that was 2001 all right so 1999 1999 was when i was in third grade golly up <laughs> yeah 1999 that's when i was in third grade and um what was i talking about we we're talking about some tulip trees right yeah yeah yeah. so yeah so i got the in 1999 that's when we got the tulip trees 
the tulip tree did not grow until I um until one day when I came home from college. I believe I was a junior in college, and that was twenty. Ooh, that was 2012, 2013, 2012, 2013. Um, you know, because you know how we start in the summer to go to school and all that and all that crap. That's when it started growing. Um, I'm not ashamed of this. I did five years of college and it wasn't because I failed any classes is because I changed my major. So I had to do an extra year. I wouldn't recommend changing a major. Um. For those who don't know what they're made, if you're going to college and you don't know what your major is going to be, make sure you figure that out quickly so you don't take an extra year and then you'll be paying more money like I am. So, yeah, <laughs> oh, she's right here. OK, let's go ahead and turn this into a small. Can I not give her? Did I not get, did I not? What was the quest? I had to make two. I'm an idiot. I am a, I'm a straight up idiot. But yeah, it didn't start growing until then. And then 2015, when I came, I just remember coming home uh, to my parents' home because I still lived with them out of college. Um, that's when I was just like, I just remember coming home and being surprised on how tall the tree grew. And I was just like, what? Ain't no way. My dad was just like, oh yeah, yeah. It, it just started growing. And like, it got that tall. And I was just like, man. And then I found out that I found out that my third grade teacher, she was, re she was retiring. And I was like, what? So I went down there to the school. I called the school to let them know like, Hey, um, I'm a third grade teachers, uh, uh, one of her students. I, yeah, I'm my third grade teacher. Um, yeah, I was like, I'm one of her students. And then there's just like, oh, okay, cool. Um, I heard it was her last day. I just wanted to talk to her, or not talk to her. I just wanted, well, yeah, I didn't want to talk to her. I just want to talk to her before she left all that. Can y'all let, you know, can y'all arrange that to happen? They were just like, yeah, we can do that. So, you know, I waited till school was over. I waited till school was over. Um, all the kids had left. And then I went in there, went into her classroom. And she was like, she knew exactly who I was, uh, despite, despite me looking different. I don't wear contacts anymore, but I did wear contacts, um, at that time when I went to visit her, but she only ever knew me wearing glasses. I didn't even get my first pair of contacts until my junior year of high school. Uh, she knew I was, she was like, Oh my gosh, Bruma, you're a grown man now. I'm like, yeah, grown man now making my own money. Um, I say that I was working, I was still part-time. Uh, but yeah, she was super excited to see me and I told her about my tree. She was just like, oh my gosh, I forgot that I gave you, I gave all of you guys. She's like, you know what? You're the only, no, she didn't say that. That's a lie. She didn't, she didn't, she wasn't about to say that. She wasn't going to say that. Like, well, I was going to say, she was like, you're the only one that I know that planted. She didn't, she, she didn't say that. That, that was me talking. Cause like I said, I believe I'm the only one that actually did plant that tree. Oh, uh, but yeah, I, yeah, she was, she was, she was dope. Uh, she gave me her number to keep in contact with her, but it was in my old wallet and I lost it. So there was that. I guess I could try to look her up. Yeah, I, I could try to look her up, but I, I'd probably not find her still because I don't even know how to pronounce her name. Not pronounce her name. I can't even spell her name. Because it's just like. You know, okay, you guys ever seen the word mayonnaise? Her last name is not mayonnaise, but you guys ever seen the word mayonnaise? And if you were trying to, um, if you saw the word, if you tried to spell the word before you saw how it was spelled, you'd be like, how the heck do you pronounce? Like, how the heck do you, how would you even think to, um, like, think to spell this? That's how her last name was, from what I remember. Me trying to, like, spell her last name, or no, me seeing her last name for the first time. And I'm like, that's how you, that's how your name is spelled? What? So, yeah. It's one of those things. Let's go ahead and turn this into Colleen and uh, call it a, call it a day to see if I can, um, as I was told, if I do quests for her. Now, I don't know if it's just one quest or if it's multiple quests. Watch it be multiple quests. Why are we so zoomed in? Oh, that's why. Where is this area at? I've never been to this area. All right. Oh, she gave me money. 
Thank you. Go somewhere. Okay, looks like I can't do another quest for her. At least not right now. Why is she out here? What is she doing? She giving people food? You giving people my food, baby girl? What? Hmm. There's Kilana. She's going to want something. Uh, maybe I can go do this. Yeah. Maybe I'm just stupid. There's a lot of her skills, man. Two hundred. In this, what's the max level again? Max level is like two fifty-two, right? No, two. Yeah. I don't know guys. I don't I don't know how to help her. Let's just charm boost. Why'd I put that on there? <laughs> oh yeah, because we were playing a role, that's why. Um but yeah guys, so that's it. That's my boring story. <laughs> nothing much with that, nothing much with that. But uh yeah. Um I'm still gonna try to get these quests out the way. Um We still haven't found this one. I was told we can find it in the mines. I haven't found it yet. Maybe it's one of those things that's just like super rare. Ooh. Do you think if I use the bell, the what's it called bell, I'll be able to get it? Probably not. Yeah, probably not. Who knows? Um, But yeah, guys. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time. Uh, Next time. It's either going to be next week or the week after. Kilana might be grown up. I have no idea just yet. But. Thank you all for watching, everyone. Remember to uh, remember to re read, pray, and repent, guys. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.